Yo, it's James with P2F Fighting. So there is a stigma going around about kicking guys in the nuts when you fight. Uh, kicking to the nuts, pulling hair, biting, girls fighting, grabbing the cha-chas, going down below, you know, with the feet and hands. Let's get this straight right now. I'm going to clear this all up for you, okay? A fight is a fight. In the street, a fight is a fight. If you want rules, do mixed martial arts with an organization. Do boxing under USA Boxing. Join wrestling. Join some kind of a organized martial art or fighting academy, right? If we're in the street, your nuts is getting kicked. Your flesh is getting bitten off. I'm going to hit you with a brick, a board. I'm going to run you over. I'm going to push you into a vehicle. I'm going to do what I got to do to get myself out of a situation where uh, I might be hurt or killed. This is self-defense. You want to stop the individual long enough for you to escape the situation. If that individual has you overwhelmed, outsized, uh, outmanned, outweaponed, and all you can do is kick him in his nuts, then you kick him like you in the World Cup, taking a penalty kick for the win. That's how you do it. And nobody cares about, uh, don't care about the, 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 the teasing later if it comes or anything like that. If he walks around, oh, he kicked me in the nuts. That's why he won. Who cares? Who cares? You got out. You got safe. That's what matters. He shouldn't have been messing with you in the first place. If you if if you're fighting someone, defending yourself uh, in a self defense situation, and they got long hair, or they got braids you can grab and you can pull them down, or they've got a hood and you can you can pull pull that hood over his head and hit him with some knees and uppercuts. Do that, okay? Do that and do that first. Do the most effective thing you can with the first move because in the street, you might not get too many moves. Most fights don't last as long as people think. So you gotta make, you gotta be efficient. Every move's gotta count. So there's no rules. That's what it is. He shoves me down. I look and see a brick. Guess what's coming out his face next? A brick. I don't care. I don't care. And you shouldn't care. You're defending your life. You use what it takes to get you out of there. And be ruthless with it. Also, if you're in a situation where you're being bullied, you're cornered, there's not a way out. You see a target and you want to go for that target. You go for that target with as much power and as much force and as much speed as you got to use. His fault for messing with you. That's how it goes. That's how I'm going to be. And I don't care what happens to that fool until I'm gone. When I'm gone... And I look back and he's still laying there. Hey, nappy time. You shouldn't have messed with me. That's how you got to be in a survival situation. Get that demeanor. Survival. Go for it. All the way. All the way through. No matter what it takes. That's how you got to be. And so the idea that biting or kicking to the, the privates or something like that or using some unfair advantage. It's not an advantage if they were messing with you. Then you had to use something to get out of the situation. If someone's got you pinned against a wall and all you see is a fleshy neck or a fleshy arm and your arms is down here, you can, you can get a bite. Mike Tyson him to death. Do it. Bite him a whole chunk. He screams, let's go with you. You shove him down, kick him in the nuts, take off running. That's what you got to do. You got to get out of the situation. See, this is, I'm not talking about no situation where somebody tells you to square up and you do. That's not self-defense. I'm talking about someone runs up on you and you got to get out of it. It's all about efficiency and effectiveness and going for the target that's going to get you out of there. Period. So, that's my pointer. Like and subscribe. 
holla at your boy.